Hello guys, um, first of the crescent here, or as some of you know me, Jamal of 39. Today I am going to be reading you um, a personal project. So I'm trying to become a very young author, and I've started writing my... Um, my first, like, really major project that I'm really focusing on, it's called the Apologue of Kapuki. So, I decided that I should do little, basically, like, listen to, like, a, basically, an audiobook that's not even a book yet, and I'm reading it. <laughs> So, um, please enjoy, okay? So, um, chapter one, a new day. It was dawn. The crisp, cold air was brushing the snow. As the sun rose, the beautiful blanket of white glimmered slightly. The star's reflections began to disappear from half-frozen pools scattered across the boreal plains. The sun's light started to give a faint glow from the horizon. Soon, the sun's rays reached a small village with about 30 huts. In this village were the inhabitants known as boreal foxes. The huts were made of stone and roofed with thick mullivand tree branches. Each hut used to usually consisted of one or two floors. The rays of sun peeked through the window of one hut, exposing its brightness to a room's cool wooden floor. There was a bed in the non-lit corner of this room. It was made of thin zeer branches padded with pecan leaves and laced with mender silk. This hut consisted of three floors and it and is the royal hut of the Biskins. King Admin Biskin, Queen Felina Biskin, and their daughter, a white and grey vixen who goes by the name of Kapake Kapake, get down here for breakfast a voice called. Yes, mother, I'll be down in a second, Kapuki er, responded. Kapuki spread her toes and stretched while releasing a great big yawn. She walked sleepily down the path of the overlook above the second floor. She walked down the staircase and into the second floor so she could go in the washroom and clean herself. Kapuki splashed around in the small pool that she had in the washroom and then drained her fur of the water from the pool. She gave herself a quick grooming and then headed down to the main floor. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Kapuki said to her parents. Good morning, my little blossom, King Admin said. Mm, yes, good morning, dear, Queen Felina said. Kapuki looked over at the marble dining table and on a white plate was her breakfast, a fresh salmon seasoned with alawak berry sauce. It was nice and orange, and it was boneless. We made your favorite, King Admin said. Oh, thanks, Father, Kapuki replied. With a few ravenous gulps, Kapuki swallowed her breakfast and was going to take a stroll around the village. A while after she started, she started strolling, she met up with her two best friends, T-Bert, a Raynard, or a male fox, if none of you knew that and nestle a vixen, or a female fox. <laughs> Oi, top of the morning to you, Kapuki! T-Bert greeted. Hello, T-Bert! Kapuki responded. I thought you were sleeping life away, Kapuki. Good to see you awake! Nestle yipped. Oh, you thought so? <laughs> ah, it's good to see you too, Nestle, Kapuki said. The trio happily walked down the cobblestone streets of the village. They passed by some of their neighbors, the sales tods, or, like, salesmen, but fox 